welcome in my first guest, Leela Howland, Rhode Island native and published author with her new book, Hello, Sunshine. Leela, thanks for joining us oh today. Oh my gosh, so happy to be here. I appreciate your coming here into the studio because first, before we talk about the book, I want to talk about your story, the Leela story Leela from story. Rhode Island native to published author. Tell us your story. Sure. So I grew up in Providence. Um, and I went to Lincoln School and then to Portsmouth Abbey. Uh, and then I went to Georgetown where I was an English major and um, always wanted to be a writer. I've been going through some stuff at my mom's house and even things that I wrote in second grade, I wanted to be a writer. Um, but first I had a little detour into the acting world in New York. I spent about five years pursuing acting um, on the main streets of New York City and uh, <laughs> gathered lots of tales and met wonderful characters and had my ups and my downs. Um, and then decided at some point I really wasn't, I didn't see myself going forward with that, um, but I had so much to write about. Um, you have to go on adventures. If you want to be a writer, you need to get material. And I certainly got some um, in New York. So uh, this started out actually maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I wanted to write about my experience as an actress. Um, and I went to my agent with a book proposal. And we went around town with it. We didn't get any bites. But she said, I really think you've got a great voice for writing young adult fiction. Because um, I wanted to write sort of a more of an adult um, book. Okay. And she introduced me to some amazing YA authors um, to their work. And I thought, oh, this is exactly what I should be doing. It just felt right. Um, and so I moved out. I had moved out to LA where the living was a little bit easier than in New York. <laughs> and I uh, started writing. And I, I um, just tried and wrote many books that didn't really work and then finally one did and now I'm on book number eight um, so it's a real lesson to sticking to it um, and I just actually had dinner with that agent last night so um, it's a long relationship and <laughs> and here we are back in Rhode Island back in Providence where it all started because I did a little digging on Hello Sunshine uh -huh. and it's about a young woman who yes. after school decides that she's gonna see if she can make it now not going to New York, but going to the West Coast. Yes. How, how autobiographical is this? <laughs> There's definitely a strong autobiographical element. Um, I, as I said, I was drawing on my own experiences. Uh, I, this is a little bit different because my character, Becca, um, is sort of an, I'd say, a solid student, liberal arts type um, in high school, and she thinks she's going to be able to get into college. And it's we all know it's getting harder and harder mm. to get into college, and um, she's just rejected everywhere. And this is the circumstance under which she makes this decision. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to give myself one year and see if I can see what happens. Did you give yourself a time frame in New York? Granted, you didn't go right from high school. You had the you know, stopover in Thank Georgetown. <laughs> So talk with us about the writing process as you flesh out the characters, as you go through these stories. It's one of the great things we do here is bring authors in to really talk with us about the books, the characters, the process. What's it like from soup to nuts from having this idea to finished product? Well, I feel like every book is actually different. Some, some books I sit down and it, uh, I need to outline, feel the need to outline every different beat and plot twist and other books um, kind of come out whole and um, it, that's usually a more circuitous path. Um, there's usually a lot more revisions with those books. Um, this one went through more drafts than any other book I've ever written because it did, uh, it, it did, I did try to kind of just sit down and, and let it happen a number of different times. So this, this has had many lives, but this is definitely the best version of it. Um, and I did end up going back and having to outline and really apply a pretty firm structure uh, in order to get it where it needed to be. I had a really brilliant editor help me with that. So you've got the published product. People have read the book. What's the reaction been? So it's, I've gotten a lot of great reviews, which has been, you know, it's always fun to get good reviews. Um, and the people who read it, read it fast. They say it's fun. 
um, funny, that it's both heartfelt and, you know, entertaining. So I'm glad to have struck that note. That's the note I'm going for. And um, yeah, it tends to people, I put so much heart and soul into it that I'm always a little surprised when people say, oh, it's an easy read. I'm like, <laughs> it wasn't that easy to create. <laughs> it was not that easy to create. <laughs> When you go through all those draft processes, does it change substantively? Like, does it change plot-wise, or is it more kind of tone and voice and style? Um, with this book, it was both. It changed substantively. I mean, I, the first version of the book did place, take place in New York. So moving into LA made a huge substantive difference. Um, and making it uh, for the YouTube generation, um, when I was going, through going through being an actress. When I was <laughs> an actress, there wasn't, that wasn't a thing. Yeah. And now it's a huge um, part of the entertainment industry. So that was a big difference, um, updating the technology aspect. I mean, people don't even, don't get headshots the same way they used to get headshots. <laughs> so there were a lot of tweaks in Things that. to make it current, because that's what Becca, the main character, does is starts playing around with some online stuff and sort of thinks that that might be the break. I mean, what do you see? You're out on the West Coast. You see it all the time. Um, you know, how difficult is it to make it? <laughs> I think it's incredibly hard, and I have a lot of respect for the people who uh, who believe in them themselves and stick to it. You know, it's also important to, um, I think, be realistic and for me the moment was is this really like my my absolute destiny because i think if you don't have that if one doesn't have that complete self-confidence that they belong uh in that world mm. then it's even harder but if you have that self-confidence and it's this or nothing then then you gotta do it you just you just <laughs> gotta do it you've got the finished product here who's gonna play becca in the movie version <laughs> Oh, I wasn't ready for this question. <laughs> Maybe an up-and-comer that yeah. we haven't seen before because yeah. it's someone who's not exactly. established. I think that would, be only, that would be the most appropriate choice. Do you think that that's most, uh, most authors think of that when they're writing books is, how could this look like a movie? Definitely. I, I, well, maybe. I don't know. I can only speak for myself. But I think that um, you know, screenwriting is an art that is, uh, forces structure and forces movement of the plot. And um, I find it helpful to think sometimes like a screenwriter because it keeps me from, from going on too long of a tangent, kind of keeps the journey um, moving forward. It's an engine. So uh, I think about it like that. And I think a lot of writers, you know, would love to have their books made into movies. So. I'm sure it crosses everyone's mind. <laughs> so you're on the book tour right now. You're going to be at Books on the Square in Wayland Square on Friday night. When you have book talks, you know, what can folks expect if they turn up at Books on the Square on Friday? Well, there'll be some wine and cheese. There'll be a little bit, I'll read an excerpt from the book, not too long. Um, and then I'll be signing copies and answering questions. And how much, I mean, you're on the tour, uh, you know, how much more do you have ahead of you? So I'm really uh, so excited to be back in New England for the summer. Um, and I'm really focusing on uh, getting more writing done, actually. That was my next question. Yeah. What is next for Leela Howland? So I actually had three books come out this summer. Um, one uh, was a Rapunzel book that's tied into the Tangled TV series. Um, that came out June 5th. This came out in paperback yesterday and then um, another book uh, the silver moon of summer is the third book in a middle grade series for eight girls and boys ages 8 to 12 and that one came out um, at the end of may so i am kind of taking a breather okay. right it sounds now. like a much needed a much yeah. deserved breather <laughs> to gather my creative uh, thoughts and uh, i'm not ready to kind of talk about my next project, oh. but there's a lot in the works. Stay tuned. Well, of course, we love to feature when we have guests here in studio what they do next, but you're back in Rhode Island. What are the hot spots? What do you miss when you're on the West Coast? Oh. I, I can't wait to go back to Rhode Island to... I can't wait to go back to Rhode Island to be in beautiful Providence. I think it's such a beautiful city. Um, just walking around the east side, 
is so lovely. Um, I, I love going to the beach here. I love the restaurants. And most of all, I just love being with my family. Back with the family, back here in Rhode Island, but really making a splash on the national stage with, as you said, middle to, uh, what's the so genre? Is, so this, this is, is young, a young adult. This is YA. This is 14 and up. Um, but you also do younger. And then I also have uh, num five books for ages 8 to 12. Very good. Well, you can read all about it. We'll provide the links and, of course, places you can buy it. You can buy it Friday night. Uh, books other on the Square. Books on the Square. Uh, and where else? Amazon, other places as well? Definitely. You can get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, um, IndieBound.com is the online resource for independent booksellers. And I love to shop at local bookstores. So. And your URL is it leelahowland.com? You yeah. got you got in on the the, the front end. You got yeah. that URL <laughs> locked. There wasn't up. a lot of competition for it. <laughs> well, Leela, I appreciate your coming in to talk about Hello Sunshine. We'll be sure to provide more information and links to Leela's works. And again, Friday night at Books on the Square for Hello Sunshine. Leela, thank you so much thank for taking the time so to much. come in. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back with our next guest here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center.